Welcome to Sports Mentalytics, where we've created an athletic mental performance management tool designed for developing athletes and coaches. We combine organizational and sports psychology assessments with analytics to deliver unparalleled insight into the mind of an athlete or team. And along the way, we've created some incredible partners and case studies with Yale, UPenn, University of Hartford, Towson, LIU Post, Marquette, and Hofstra. Our process applies a systematic approach to assessing, developing, and implementing strategies to get the most out of an athlete. Throughout this tutorial, we're gonna dive pretty deep into the three factors of an athlete's mental performance. And we're gonna to touch on the three factors of a team's mental performance. Once you create an account and log in, You can go right to the Get Assessed tab. Athletes will complete a 30 minute survey type assessment measuring their mentality while playing their sport. And we're gonna produce a powerful and informative data profile with a customized report that helps the athlete improve the way they think. We also have similar reports for the parents, coaches, and organizations to facilitate the athlete's development from multiple angles. Our scoring profile is measured on a scale of 1 to 100, with 50 being the average. There are eight mental factors and 22 subdimensions in which we measure. Let me run you through just a few so you can get a feel for the formatting. There will be a definition of the broad factor. There will be a definition of the subdimension. There will be a score of the subdimension a personalized result, a development plan, and a mental skill. And you can also click the headphones and listen to this section in audio. Let me run you through the 22 different subdimensions before we jump into key performance indicators. Coachability is made up of modesty, feedback acceptance, and cooperation. Work style is made up of mastery approach, need for structure, and being growth-minded. Grit is made up of persistence, internal motivation. Mental toughness is made up of stress management and problem focus coping and confidence. And focus is made up of visualization ability, presence, and concentration. Drive is made up of challenge approach, competitiveness, Team orientation is made up of social ability, team preference, team goal focused, and reliance. And leadership potential is made up of integrity and assertiveness. Key performance indicators represent critical situations that athletes have to face in preparation and competition. How you handle these types of situations is indicative of your overall mental effectiveness. We have willingness to learn measured with bold and modest, resistant and accepting, with a suggestion or development plan here, team leader, with individual versus teamwork or follower versus leader, grinding through unpleasant situations, whether you're hesitant or determined, external motivation versus internal motivation, whether you're a team player with personal goals and team goals, being cautious or trusting, performing under pressure with distress and use stress, being distracted or focused, and dealing with setbacks when you're doubtful or confident, whether you repress a problem or you confront the problem, and playing in the moment where you're worrying about the outcome or the process versus avoiding failure, or performing at your max. Several mental skills will be suggested in this report to help you overcome challenges and improve in certain areas. 
A short four to five minute training segment on each mental skill is provided below so that you can understand what each of these skills involves. Now on to what I believe is one of the most exciting pieces of the software, the 23 week personalized email development plan, which will allow you as an athlete to absorb a small amount of your personalized report over a prolonged period of time without overwhelming yourself. Week one, you'll get your scoring profile on mental skills guide. Week two, we'll jump into your key performance indicators. And week three, we'll start the process of your 22 subdimensions. And as you, you'll see, the format looks very similar. You'll get a score, a result, a development plan, a mental skill to practice, and you can listen on your headphones. So just so you can see, you know, week 17, week 20, all the way up to week 23. At the end of the report, we're gonna help you understand how to interpret your results and ultimately how to use the report for development. What I'm gonna do now is log out and log back in as if I am a parent or a coach or organization. So you can see the subtle differences in the back end of the software. Once you're logged in, you can go right to the Manage Teams tab. And this is where you're going to create your own team. Type your team name in. Your affiliation, whether you're an athlete or coach or assistant coach, your sport, and what level you'll participate in. And then you can save this team. And this team will be saved in this box here. Once you click on your team, this is where you can invite your athletes. Click the invite button. You can invite one athlete at a time or your whole team. All you do is copy and paste emails separated by commas. And you can click extra coach or athlete, athlete or assistant coach. Once you hit the send invite buttons, it'll email the athlete or coach, prompt them to create an account, and walk them through the process to take the assessment or log into the back end where they'll have access. As soon as your athletes complete their assessment, their reports will populate right here in the view results tab. The first report's gonna look really familiar as it's the athlete report. The same scoring profile, the only subtle nuances here is that it'll be addressed slightly different. It'll be addressed as if you are a coach reading about the athlete. So that'll be the only difference there. You can also navigate in between your athletes up here. You'll also receive a coach's summary, which is a combination of all your athletes in one report with a combined scoring profile. And we're also gonna bucket each athlete into a low, moderate, or high category for each one of the eight mental factors that are measured. On the key performance indicator charts, all of your athletes will be dropped into the graphs. So within the matter of 10 minutes of reading through this coach's summary, you should have a really strong idea of your strength, strengths and weaknesses of the team. And finally, the team report, which is a separate and second assessment. But we talk about team process, culture, and strengths. And I'll just run you through this real quick. Team process scoring is broken down into a competition phase where we give a result and development. Preparation phase, interpersonal process, Team strengths broken down into leadership strength, role clarity, and cohesion, as well as team confidence. And then we get into team culture scoring with cultural expectations. We run through from process orientation all the way down to optimism, including recognition and praise, acceptance, accountability. And each one of these will also have a score in relative of, of importance, one being the highest.
And then we'll discuss culture values, talking about pride, relationships, integrity, sportsmanship, all the way down to humility, once again, with, with a score of importance. So there you have it. That's Sports Mentalytics software and back end. Um, we have a number of different products and packages available at extremely affordable prices with an average being $100 per year, including athlete report, athlete parent report, all the way down to a consultant package. If you have additional questions for us, we'd love to connect with you. You can reach us here, the contact us page. My hope for you is that you realize how powerful this information really is, and you're ready to take action. Start putting as much into your mental performance as you do your physical. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn about sports mentalytics, and we're here when you're ready to develop your mental game.